next, remembering Lisa Marie Presley. Uh, very impressive and worthy of note in her own right, but remember, the only child of one of the most famous and the most powerful American icons ever, Elvis, okay? Who better to have on than the president of the first ever Elvis Presley fan club? She even knew the king, spent time with his mama, and she is here to share why this matters and what it means for the legacy. Finding a companion. Elvis Presley's only child, Lisa Marie Presley, barely in her 50s, cardiac arrest, died same day, yesterday. Elvis is one of the most famous people in the world. 46 years. He's been famous longer dead than he was alive. You know, he was only 42 when he died in 1977. Uh, addicted to barbiturates, alcoholism, you know, rampant abuse stories. Uh, but died of a heart-related issue, maybe in his family, maybe that had something to do with whatever was going on with his daughter as well. But Lisa Marie Presley, again, impressive in her own right, made a huge impact on many, many people's lives. But she also represents something bigger than even herself, which is the Elvis legacy to legions of fans. Half a million people still visit Graceland, Elvis's own home, every year. Okay, the estate earns $30 million a year for the intellectual property rights and the visiting. Kay Wheeler knew Elvis Presley. She founded the first ever national Elvis fan club, organized it uh, back when she was a teenager. She organized his 1956 concert at the Texas Cotton Bowl and even says she taught him some dance moves. Kay, thank you very much uh, for joining us. It's good to have you on the show. I'm sorry for your loss because I know that Elvis's daughter mattered a lot to you for a lot of reasons. So I'm sorry. That's the whole Elvis nation, which includes so many people like you just mentioned at Visit Graceland and they're all weeping and broken hearted, just like it was a member of their own family. So it is heartbreaking and uh, we just pray for the family and her children and her mother and all, and uh, it, it, we've taken it pretty, pretty hard to say the truth. Yes. The, the time is interesting. It's hard. And uh, this is a picture yes. of you with Elvis that we're showing right now. Um, oh, this okay. Is odd that time. works. <laughs> yeah. There's the. I, I hope there are pictures of you. Uh, the, the timing is an interesting question for you because there was a resurgence, uh, in the mania for the king with this Baz Luhrmann movie and the actor who bears such uncanny resemblance to him and his portrayal of him uh, in the movie. And of course, his daughter, Lisa Marie, had worked so closely with Baz Luhrmann. And now, just as this comeback is upon us, she is gone. What does that mean to you? I'm just happy that she got to see the movie that it happened in her lifetime and that she could enjoy that because it was an exciting thing and it brought Elvis to a whole new generation. And, uh, you know, it's the perpetuation of the le legend of Elvis and everybody can get on the fun that we had in the 50s with Elvis, the first teenagers. Oh my gosh. So, you know, that's never to be forgotten. And, and to bring it into other future generations, which it has definitely transcended the 1950s, of course. Uh, and so I'm just happy that she did have those happy moments and that when she was at Elvis's birthday celebration at Graceland, she walked up to the microphone and she said, I, I miss you, I miss you guys, because she's, she's been away a while. And that was so touching. And I could just feel that she felt the love of Elvis's fans immensely, of course. And uh, I think that the last moments were good moments. And that's important because we're all going to die, you know. There's, we're all going to have our time. And, but I mean, and it's certainly too young for her, bless her heart and her family. But. You know, yes, I think her final moments seem to be very positive and in, in good moments, and I'm, I'm happy for that. 
Yes. There were always uh, big swings in her life. Um, she had, you know, the phase where she was uh, with Michael Jackson. Uh, she didn't turn to singing and songwriting. Um, the song, When the Lights Go Out in Memphis, uh, is better than people give it uh, credit for. But she was afraid uh, or concerned what it would mean being Elvis's daughter to be singing and songwriting herself. So it was something she really delayed. And the irony that father and daughter both go too young, what does that mean to you? It seems like that, you know, the mother of two, you know, Gladys Presley, she died at 46, Elvis at 42, and now Lisa. Um, and of course, her precious son, uh, that was a, a cross to bear for sure that she lost a couple of years ago, Benjamin. So of course, the burden of all that, you know, how can you rationalize that or even accept it? Uh, you don't, but you, you know, Elvis had a tragic side and I think that his fans, you know, feel that, and they feel that it's an empathy thing, and it's more than uh, just his music, and you know, it's 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 almost a family relationship that so many people. I think that is the saving grace. Lives. That is the saving grace, Daisy. <laughs> amazing Even grace. Amazing grace. Yeah. Uh, the 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 saving grace is that even with Lisa Marie. Um, passing on. We'll see if one of her kids picks up the mantle. Um, but as you say, it's a family thing. And the legacy will live on in the heads and hearts of people like you all over the country, all over the world, uh, who don't want what we the king represented did. to be gone. So I wish you well. Yes. I thank you for sharing with us. And I wish I had more time because I wanted thank to see you, the dance Chris. moves that you, you taught Elvis. I'm a big fan <laughs> of yours. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's a big drop from first to second in your, in your fan list, but I'll take it. I'm just happy to be on it. Take care, Kay. Thank you very much, and God bless. And I'm thank sorry you. for your Thank loss. you, Chris. Thank you. All right, coming up, you've had